right where that bag at. I'm verified like a chick, but you can't catch that. Yeah. I'm, I'm verified like a chick, but you yeah. can't catch that. Help me forget about your ex, now you past that. I put an X on that map right where that bag at. I set a cup right Alright, it feel like we tapped in. Y'all know what's going on. Nah, okay. <clears throat> and action. All right, y'all. What's poppin'? It's your girl Simply, aka Simply Saucy, aka y'all know what time it is, man. It's been a minute. I know I done fell off that. You know we ain't gonna get into all of that, but I'm back. That's all that really matter, right? And I'm about to put myself to the test. 2024 feel different, you know. And I hope that y'all can say the same. So January just passed us by. Uh, February is beginning. So I hope that y'all take the opportunity to have a fresh start, to do what you set out to do this year, and and more. So, yeah. But like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. I'm not playing this time. <laughs> I could probably roll clips of how many times I said that. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to be about it. Just like, comment, subscribe, and make sure y'all keep tuning in because the ball about to be rolling. The ball is rolling. This is This is what that is right now. All right, so um i'm reintroducing myself to to me and to y'all so this is gonna be the first episode of simply potting that's it it's just simply potting that's what we're gonna call it all right the really shit you ever seen um it, it's still alive y'all can go tap into it i'll put the link in the description but this is simply potting and we keeping it just like that all right so yeah i want to um talk about something that I did and that I feel like I'm proud of for me by me and it's dry January y'all I really didn't think I could do it but no I thought I could do it I just thought it would be harder than what it was so I'm sure if you heard I'm sure you heard of it before but the concept of dry January is to not drink for the month of January um and any of my fellow drinkers y'all know how hard that can be when you are a casual drinker like myself or you know you like to drink with dinner or you like to drink with your friends and brunch and every other meal whatever <laughs> but it was really it was a challenge but it wasn't as hard as i expected i would say um i'm not gonna lie on the on the third i did slip into a bottle okay i had got my hair braided and um uh, me and my braider was just we was having a good time we never really drank together like we had but we haven't not like we did that night and then we went to the store grabbed the little you feel me and then we got toe up we got toe back man and that was just more confirmation like okay you need to stick with this because this is getting out of control like it's a new year you can't be getting all lit like this the next day you all out of it like you know you can't do nothing that really be the biggest thing for me that's like so okay to segue into dry january for me so the best thing about it y'all for me was definitely being able to wake up and get done stuff that i want to get done and just jump right into my day like waking up you know drinking some tea some coffee or whatever you know your morning regimen is and not feeling all like laggy and your head is cloudy and you know your stomach might be a little hurting so you want a specific type of food something salty something greasy or something try to soak up that liquor like that was that had to be the best thing about it was the mornings because i had no excuse like you know I had no excuse but to wake up and get to it and whatever that was like you feel me whatever that looked like for you so um it was cool for me you feel me whatever it is like i'm good to do it and that felt so good and also i do feel like my my brain fog has cleared up like if any of my ADHDers, like you know I'm, you know feel me it's me like you know sometimes it's hard for me to articulate myself sometimes it's hard for me to finish my thoughts sometimes it's hard for me to just remember what i said two minutes ago remember a name and all of that and i feel like my brain kind of function has increased too granted i do take these little mushroom like capsules or whatever that it are for like cognitive function and behavior or whatever um, I just ran out. I need to order some. Remind yourself once you look at this and you edit it. But, uh, yeah, I, I just feel like it just, it's been helping me. Like, you know, and even my stomach, like, 
You feel me? When you drink, you will get that little like bubble at the top. Like <laughs> it's not like a beer belly where it's hard and big at the bottom. You get the little, you feel me, at the top. Whatever. You just get this weird bloat. And I ain't been having that. Yeah, it just been all kind of benefits. I mean, I'm sure you could Google it and see all of these things. And yeah, this is actual and it's factual. So it's been great. I, I love it. Um, now, am I excited to have my first drink? Yeah, obviously. And y'all going to be here when I do have it. I'm not playing. Like, I'm going to make sure I incorporate y'all in there because for that first night. Because, man, it, like, I barbecued the other day. I didn't, I got me some club soda in a red cup. And I had to pretend it was some drink so bad, baby. It was it was tough. But, you know, it was, it was it's been worth it. So that's all I've been telling myself. You did it yesterday, you can do it today. You doing it today, you can do it tomorrow. And that's how you got to take it, day by day. When you're trying to pick up something new, day by day, minute by minute, I'm telling you. Just give yourself credit. Don't. Okay, even if you slip, like I said, I slipped on the third. So what? I finished the whole other month out. I cannot drink tomorrow and just count that extra day. Whatever works for you, just make it work for you. Anyway, so, yeah, that that been cool. <clears throat> that been cool. Um. Well, you know, that recap was fun or whatever. But let me give you all a little like intro to i know we kind of like going backwards here but bear with me adhd right all right so um sorry my dog is distracting me a little bit but um yeah y'all for this channel i will say for this pod for simply pod you can expect everything under the sun like i'm an open book um i'm a jill of all trades i know all kind of people i am based off of experience not completely educated you know and we're gonna talk about all of that we're gonna get into everything and if y'all have any questions y'all have any topics y'all have any people recommend that blah 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 etc right in the comments all right just drop that thing and we're gonna get to it i'm gonna address it i promise you um uh, but yeah so that's pretty much the gist of me you know and then it's gonna be a little we're gonna do some story times because i definitely got some stories for y'all and um <laughs> and uh i'm yeah all right yeah and yeah so all that see this the adhd mind also y'all i ate an edible like 30 minutes ago i think it's like i think it's doing what it's what it do or whatever anyways <laughs> with that being said <laughs> let me try to like make this like short and sweet um all right well something i want to talk about is something i feel like a lot of us don't really think through especially black people right is creativity all right so i just want to let y'all know like you are all creatives like all of y'all is creative y'all i know y'all do something creative i hate when i talk to people and they be like i don't know i'm like you know i'm not no artist i'm not no creative i'm not blah blah, blah. bro if you cook that's creating something if you care about how you dress and represent yourself and your look and your image that's a creative process if you organize your room a certain way your closet a certain way you if you collect little items or pictures and stuff you know what i'm saying if you make scrapbooks and you get your family together like those are all creative things to do like those are all creative processes and <clears throat> excuse me but I think everybody really needs to realize that we are all creatives and I can't emphasize enough, especially black people. Yes, everybody is creative, but I, I'm emphasizing black people because we're not raised to think like that. We're not raised to, 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 to nourish that side of us. We raised to kind of survive or whatever, or, or have been, you know, I think things are shifting a little more now, but as far as like people like my age and older especially we not raised to think of ourselves as creatives like that's like stepping out the box and then when you make it it's kind of like ooh, like wow almost like i can't believe it but if you stick with something that you love to do that you've been doing since you was a kid that really feel like this is like you know this is my heart at this is where i'm at peace like that is your creative process and i'm telling you you could you could be as successful or or as not successful as you want to be with that but just know you are a creative bro you create every day don't think of yourself as less than like take it seriously don't sleep on yourself about it don't let nobody tell you that's just a hobby that's just some foo foo blah 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 like nah you a creative like you know what i'm saying if you remember think about it remember back in the day when uh, the end of the year came seventh grade eighth grade whatever you feel me 
everybody signing the shirts and you keep that shirt. Like, you didn't just think of that shit because of nothing. You thought of it because you wanted to keep some memorabilia and you felt like, huh, how can I get that? Or signing a yearbook. Like, every little thing is really such an artistic expression. We just don't look at it like that because we raise so much to think about money, 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 be a doctor, be a lawyer, be something and get a house and have a family and all of that type of stuff we not taught to like nourish that childish creative part of us to to make us happy and enrich the world and the people around us i won't get too further into it but my biggest message to you all is that if you have created anything in this life you are creative and if you wish to start creating anything in this life do it it's in your subconscious for a reason because naturally we're creatives naturally we're artistic people just do it so what if somebody don't like it don't make it for them make it for you think about yourself when you're doing it everybody else i'm trying to be cool because you know i'm gonna have to bleep out some curse words because i know youtube be tripping but um oh and then a, oh my god an even bigger an even bigger message than that is don't discourage your little nieces and nephews and your kids from being creative and expressing themselves. If they want to draw on their clothes, if they want to put Kool-Aid in their hair, if they want to redo their room, if they want to, like, wear two different shoes. Like, I know we was raised to all think that that was some white people. Be honest. Be honest. Like, yeah, it was. But it's just like, <laughs> you got to let kids express themselves because they are in their truest and freest form at that age. They don't care about nothing. They are constantly learning. And the thing with us is we have to constantly unlearn to kind of dial back and figure out exactly who we is. They know who they is. So don't go trying to tell them exactly like who they are. Like they know what they like, you know, like sure. Keep them safe and keep them aware. Don't make let them be naive or whatever, but like nurture that, like foster it completely. Because when they get older, I'm telling you, they're going to love and appreciate you so much for it. And they're going to know themselves so much better. Mind you, I have no children. <laughs> I only have nieces and nephews, but I am a product of that. I've been discouraged. I've been the one like, mm, yeah, okay, you might like that, but don't try to do it as a career. Like, it would never work out as a career or something like that. Or, like, who you know that's doing that. Like, you know, stuff like that. Like, it's just, I don't know. I just don't don't put that on them kids. I, they, they, I don't know. Don't discourage them. Don't do that to them. I, I really feel strongly about that, y'all. Like, get them everything and anything under the sun that they're interested in. A hacky sack, a tennis racket, a drum set, uh, blocks, flowers. I don't know. Any and everything. Like, get all of it. Get them all of it. Um, yeah. Definitely want to speak about creativity. And also, the black sheeps in your family. So, the little who's like... I want to kill my. No, I just play. I was just playing. I was just playing, y'all. It's terrible. It's killing me. Honestly, I just said that black sheep stuff because I forgot what else I was supposed to be talking about because my ADHD is like, it's beating me right now. With that being said, we'll wrap it up. So, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know <laughs> what y'all want to see. What y'all, you know, uh, I got story times coming. I got uh vlogs coming i got everything dropping so you know we doing content weeks so we could do content months don't even trip i got y'all like i said i'm about to have my first drink today is the last day of january so uh you know god be with y'all and bless your february all right like do right by yourself you can only be good to other people when you do right by you do that and you know laugh at something be nice to somebody and um shit valentine's day coming up figure something out for that special person do something for your dog i don't know don't be in the closet crying and sad and stuff like that it's not worth it don't embarrass yourself and uh i think that's it too long wasn't it huh so that's me like i said adhd hello anyways we're gonna wrap it up so tune in like comment and subscribe it's simply pie y'all we here we live and we booming. Let's go. Right with that bag at. I'm verified like a chick, but you can't catch that. Yeah. I'm, I'm verified like a chick, but you yeah. can't catch that. Help you forget about your ex, now you.
past that. I put an X on that map right where that.